Why I am here today is to take you beyond that. There is something beyond this life. And it is not as difficult as the preparation for the ease of this life. I want to repeat that. To prepare for the akhirah and for the life after death and for paradise is not as difficult as the preparation for the next few years. And I can prove it to you. Look, let me ask you questions and you can respond. How many years have you been at school? Starting from grade one. Let's count. One to seven. I'm, I'm talking my system. One to seven. Seven to for seven plus four is eleven. I think eleven years you get to your GCSEs. Am I right? Yeah. Eleven years. Then after that, minimum four years varsity. Am I right? Eleven plus four is maths is weak. Okay, fifteen. <laughs> there you are. Fifteen plus possibly another one, two of experience and so on. So fifteen, sixteen years we are studying. Okay, and. Even if you become a doctor, doctors a little bit more. Let's say someone's become a doctor and mashallah, you know, they're earning and they, they've got their wealth and they've got their practice and so on. They need to get points. They need to learn some new, what do you call it, the developments every now and again. They need to be registered. They need to attend conferences and they need to attend seminars and they get their points and so on every single year. And it's so difficult and they need to work. How long do they need to work? If you, if you see a practice of a doctor, does it say there? open five times a day for 10 minutes. Does it say that? Does it say that at any doctor's practice? What does it say? <coughs> open eight to five. We may not even close for lunch. The doctor has his sandwich behind. Hang on a second, I'm coming with a stethoscope. And he goes back, tap, 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 tap. He's got a sandwich there. Come, oh, sorry, yes. <laughs> it can happen, depending on how busy he is. And what has he done that for? He's ready to work from eight to five. Imagine. 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock, so much pain, but for what? To be able to live from 5 o'clock to the following 8 o'clock. That's all. That's it. That's it. And half that time he'll be fast asleep. Allahu Akbar. So look at the amount of pain we are ready to go through as human beings in order to live for the rest of the day. And we live, we work whole week in order to get the Sunday off and we can then go to Alton Towers or somewhere, mashallah, you know. Subhanallah. Why? And that also happens how often? How often do people go to these amusement parks? Once a year, twice a year? And we were sweating, sweating throughout the year in order to make one trip to Malaysia, mashallah. One trip to Thailand, Phuket, very beautiful, scenic, mashallah. Hope the floods don't come when you go. <laughs> but this is what we're ready to do. And Allah says, hang on, think very carefully. And that's why I am here to make myself think and to make yourselves think. Imagine if I have to prepare for a whole life after death that is eternal. Allah says, you open your business five times a day for 10 minutes. There you are. And we still say, nah, I don't need to do that. You know, why should I? And Allah says, okay, I just like you, dress, you to dress in a specific way. That's it. Not even something so difficult. And we say, no. Whereas when we go to school and they tell us to come up with such a silly uniform, we will pay to buy it. We'll put their emblem and logo here and we'll probably put our name at the back and everything depending on where, you know, what school we go to. And we're ready to wear the uniform for the school because we want a little certificate to say, I graduated from St. Michael's. Mashallah. And when Allah says, look, I'm not going to make you wear an emblem. Imagine if we had to wear an emblem here saying something, you know. I used to tell people before that if we had a slate on our foreheads saying whether you've read the last Salah or not, we would all read Salah five times a day. We just need a slate on the head. You know, at last Salah read, that's what it said, and then at the bottom it says Maghrib, Mashallah. It says, imagine if someone says three years back Asr. <laughs> so we need to think of this, that amazing how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not asked much of us.